this a good place to film? I've still got like nothing in my flat. I've now got a desk, so I was like, yeah, let's film in front of the desk. And I've tried to make it look pretty by putting these flowers on them, but does it look okay? You tell me, I don't know. I've kind of been slipping behind on making videos recently, cause life happens. And it's been a really long time since I've done a hashtag, hashtag ask Carrie. I can't do the other fingers cause I'm holding my tea. A hashtag ask Carrie. It's been a while since I've done one of those, so. Here we are. It's hotter than the centre of the earth in here right now though. Will On The Other Side be a series, and if so, how many books will it feature? I'm just planning for it to be the one book. I really like it when stories are contained within one novel. It's so frustrating when you get to like a really, really awesome climactic point of the book and then you look and you realise you've only got like 10 pages left to read and you're like, no, no, it's not enough time to finish this story. There's gonna be another book that I've gotta wait for to be written. And sometimes it takes so long for the second book to be written that I just forget or I lose interest. So I'm just planning for On The Other Side to be one book. Would you rather know the day of your death or the cause of your death? I'd rather not know either, but if I had to choose, I'd rather know the day of my death, I think. Knowing how I'm gonna die is just gonna make me jumpy for the rest of my life. If I know that I've got a good while until I'm gonna die, if I know the exact date, I just won't panic up until that point. But I'd rather not know either. I'd rather be blissfully ignorant. Where is your happy place? I'm walking right down the middle of Main Street, USA. Any more tattoos on the horizon? I definitely want more, but not until I know exactly what I want. I don't, I don't want to get into that downward spiral of just getting loads and loads of stuff just because I want tattoos and then, you know, ending up with random crap all over my body which is what will happen. What do you do if you forget your lines on stage? You just keep going, just keep singing, just keep singing. You literally just gotta keep going as best you can. The problem with Lame Is is that there's no sort of, you can't really pause because it's all set to music, so it's all timed. So if you forget something, you've missed your chance, it's gone. Someone else is singing by the time you realise what the line you're supposed to have sung was. You do kind of find that this like panic button gets pushed inside your brain about 10 seconds before and you know that you don't know what you're about to sing. You know that you have nothing, you've got no words. I had a three day holiday and then came back to work and one of the lines that I had to sing just fell out of my head in those three days holiday. And I was supposed to sing, in my life there's been no one like him anywhere, anywhere where he is. What I actually sang, and all the way leading up to it, I was going, you don't know the words, you don't know the words, you have no idea what's about to come next. And I sang, in my life there's been no one like him where he is, wherever he is. And the best thing about that was that I heard someone in the front row lean over to their friend and just go, that wasn't right. <laughs> Describe yourself in a six word sentence. Big haired, Disney loving bookworm. What was the highlight of Summer in the City 2015 for you? I have so many highlights. One of them was going on the Dodgems. Another one was doing the meet and greet with Pete because it was just so nice having him there and meeting loads of people together. And I think seeing Emma Blackery for the first time on that Sunday was one of my highlights as well because we both sort of looked up, saw each other and were like, oh my God, hi, hello, how are you? And then we both had to go and do meet and greets but right next to each other and so we just filled our pockets with sweets. Is your death blood, just to clarify, when I'm in lame is, I have death blood. That's not just everyday life for me. Well, it is everyday life for me, but within the context of lame is, not just when I'm in my flat at home. Is your death blood cold or do they warm it up for you? It's cold, but by that point, I'm really, really hot. So it's quite nice. Like I never really notice. What's the worst thing about being in the West End? I mean, relatively, it's not that bad because you know I'm in a West End show and that's pretty freaking awesome and anything that is bad about that doesn't really weigh out all of the positives but I have no social life, I never see my friends and I'm always a little bit dirty as well, I've got just fake dirt in the pores of my skin all of the time so I do just look a little bit grubby in everyday life. And finally, how do you keep coming up with material or content for your videos and blog? My mind blanks so easily. Recently, I've been having this problem. So if you wanna leave me ideas for videos or blogs in the comments, go ahead. My sister-in-law, Giovanna Fletcher, who you can watch here if you so wish, but I recommend that you do because she's really freaking awesome. She made a video on comfort zones recently, which I watched about 20 minutes ago. 